My friend, yeah, well, you're just talking about those severe weather outbreaks. Of course, our heart always with those impacted. We've had quieter weather closer to home. Thus far, 859 tornadoes this year. Iowa hit hard in the last 24 hours. Okay. We have quieter conditions, but a cold front that's going to bring some changes to your Thursday. Let's go ahead and start with that moonrise. Talking about the flower moon, Jerry caught this in St. George. It's the moonrise tonight, that full moon popping up. Really pretty shot in Washington County of the Red Rock. And the moon is bright tonight, that full moon coming through. Great shot there. All right, taking a view of what it looked like in Washington County earlier in the day, clear conditions. So the southern half of the state saw those clear skies as we dealt with increasing cloud cover along the Wasatch Front associated with the passage of a cold front still out there. High temperatures today topping out in the 70s and 80s, so we were very seasonal. Average this time of year is 75 in Salt Lake, so we were right in that arena. And those numbers jumping helped us with our south-southwest release winds to get to that, but it's a brief window that we stay with those average temperatures because the cold front's going to change the game. Look at this time lapse video coming out of Cache Valley. You see the clouds moving through, but you actually pick up on a few showers also on the time lapse video. This is one of the areas as the cold front passed. We did get a few pop up showers and we do tonight have a little bit of pop up activity, a bit of a gust front for Tooele and Salt Lake County. So we're seeing some gusty winds in that area, but you can also make out very clearly where the cloud cover is with clearer conditions for the southern half of the state. All right, as we continue to trek on through, looking at what to expect as we head into tonight, 50s turning to 40s, but we will see increasing cloud cover along the Wasatch Front, so mostly cloudy skies in Salt Lake as they sit in the low 70s right now, but eventually those temperatures will be dropping. Future cast shows the front on the move and it progresses towards the east. It leaves the northwest flow behind, which will bring us below average daytime highs as we head into tomorrow. Also noteworthy, another system on its heels moving in Friday and into Saturday. Saturday and the model bringing the potential of a little more widespread precipitation with that storm system. That's a big deal because we're going into Memorial Day weekend and I know a lot of Utahns want to be out and about. It's going to be an eyes to the skies type of Memorial Day weekend with that disturbance Friday into Saturday. Upper level future cast kind of shows you what's happening. So the front coming through right now, you can actually see that front and that area of low pressure leaves the door open for another system Friday into Saturday dropping in from the Pacific Northwest with better wet weather potential on the way with that one. Once we clear that storm system, something interesting happens. A ridge begins to build that high pressure building in from the West, and that is really going to change the weather game for the Western United States. And the beehive state is part of that high pressure brings sinking air, and that means we'll see temperatures rising, a more stable pattern and calmer conditions in plenty of sunshine. As a result, forewarning you with that six to 10 day as we head into that holiday weekend, above average temperatures are expected throughout the state. So we could see a longer stretch of quieter conditions underneath that ridge of high pressure as we head into next week. So telling you now, the unsettled skies will go, but they stick around tonight, tomorrow, and into Friday and Saturday. All right, tomorrow, how low do we go temperature wise? Well, we're going to dip low 60s expected along the Wasatch Front. That's after the mid 70s today. We'll still see the 80s in St. George, but overall, the northern half of the state will be cooler with a spread of 60s running 10 to 15 degrees below where we typically are this time of year. So that's what's on deck for your Thursday. As we take a look at the next seven days in Washington County, you're going to notice that warm up. Ridge of high pressure becomes more pronounced as we head towards the Memorial Day holiday and the 90s make a comeback. But a nice little stretch of 80s down there in southern Utah. Enjoy that brief cool down. It's going to get hot and it's going to get hot pretty quickly in the blink of an eye. Check out the Wasatch Front. We also see those temperatures fluctuate just a little bit, dropping tomorrow below average, wanting to rebound but staying below average as we make it through an unsettled stretch here heading into our Saturday with the potential of isolated storms Friday heading into Saturday for the Wasatch Front, which you saw in the future cast. Then drier conditions, Memorial Day looking lovely with those mid 70s, but check out the beginning and middle of next week. That ridge of high pressure could skyrocket at our highs above average as we reach for the mid 80s along the Wasatch Front. So changes in the weather world tonight and it starts with that front that's putting down some gusty winds in the metro area, Salt Lake and Tooele County. Cooler temperatures on deck for tomorrow. And for now, live from Wayne County on the Good for Utah Road Tour new spot tomorrow. We'll tell you where it is. Hope you'll be watching. Brian, back to you.